Welcome to Inside Tameside, I'm Becky Carhill. The headlines, Staley Bridge in bloom, Rubens Retreat, Reach the Magic Million and a Denton woman's epic run across Africa. But first, solitary candles were lit throughout Tameside and gloss upon Monday night as Britain remembered the start of the First World War. Between 10 and 11, there were services throughout the boroughs, while civic buildings were plunged into darkness to mark the hour was declared to the hour exactly 100 years ago. On Sunday, the 3rd Ashton Scout Group unveiled their Poppies of the Field tableau at a special service at St James's Church. In Glossop Parish Church, prayers were said and hymns sung before a First World War exhibition in the Lady Chapel. People listened to war poems before being given candles and replicas of the breast pocket Bibles each soldier would, was given before setting off to war. It was a scene played out in churches and at war memorials all over the High Peak and Tameside. Staley Bridge has been looking blooming marvellous thanks to the dedication of green-fingered residents, school children, volunteers and local businesses. The town's transformations part of Britain in Bloom competition organised by the Royal Horticultural Society. This year it commemorates the 100th anniversary of World War I. Last week, judges came to see the result of months of hard work and the winners are due to be announced in October. Yesterday, past soldiers shared their stories at the Museum of the Manchester Regiment's annual Discovery Day. The event was at Ashton Town Hall and at the King George V playing fields on Henrietta Street in Ashton. It was held in cooperation with the 103rd Regiment Royal Artillery and Tameside for Good. Charity fundraisers at Rubens Retreat are celebrating after raising more than a million pounds in just 23 months. Nicola Graham and husband Mike founded Rubens Retreat to help other families after a deadly brain tumour claim the life of their youngest child, aged just 23 months. The retreat's been bought in the high peak with the £1 million. It means the first phase of its development can go ahead to provide a bereavement and counselling service for parents and siblings. And finally, a woman from Denton will be travelling to Africa this month as she takes on an extraordinary challenge. 30-year-old Emma Timmis will be running over 4,500 miles across Africa in four months, the equivalent of a marathon a day. She'll be raising the money for charities The Seed Project, Think Plan Do and Tusk. For more information or to see how you can donate, visit headoverheels2014.com. You can read all about these stories and more in this, in this week's Tameside Reporter and Gossip Chronicle. That's the latest. I'm Becky Carhill.